Speaking of the superstar shakeup, there was one team that got moved up kind of out of nowhere, the War Raiders. God, so Jesus. There's even more news about these <laughs> Hold on, you can't say that. <laughs> yeah, I can because we don't know what to call them. That's fair, I So guess. they come to the main roster. Still, they're, Keep in mind, last week they filmed NXT, and I don't know this for certain, but I don't think they knew when they did the NXT tapings last week that they were getting called up. Because they had, what, one match at the tapings with, mm-hmm. was it Street Profits? Yes. Yeah, and they beat the Street Profits. Who I love, I love them. Non-title, whatever. Mm-hmm. So then Monday, well, this was two weeks ago actually, so Monday last week they come to the main roster and they get the name change, the Viking Experience. They're also no longer Hanson and Rowe. They're Ivar and Eric. Which I don't, I, eh, I don't care. So then we go to Raw this week and they get a name change. They're like, oh, people don't like the Viking experience name. Well, let's change it. And now they're. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't think we properly broke down the Viking experience in that moment there, Tim. (laughs) What do you mean? (laughs) Someone in a boardroom was sitting at a desk, probably Vince. In a boardroom? Somewhere a decision was made at a bar, at a in Chili's at 2 30. I wonder, I wonder, I don't think it is anymore, but. Back in the day, it used to be just Vince, Pat Patterson, and freaking um, Bruce Pritchard sitting around Vince's pool. That was creative. Okay. What I imagine, is to come up with the Viking experience, what I'm imagining is that someone's in a car, stuck in traffic, driving past Disneyland, and they're like, Disneyland, huh? They got some cool names for rides. They got, like, the, the small world thing and, like, something experience. And then Triple H in the car was like, uh, Hey Vince, what do we do with the uh, with the War Raiders? And Vince goes, "Who?" And they're like, "Those guys from NXT that look like Vikings." And he's, Wait, are you what? suggesting that there's <laughs> that a group together? that yes. there's a group of a, of WWE higher ups that carpool to work every day? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and Vince is like, oh, let, "Let me see a picture." Of him. He sees a picture. He looks at it and just goes, "Oh, Viking experience. That's stupid for them, right? Let's do it." And then they both laugh and count their money. So and we get that. <laughs> Their Viking experience, Ivar and Eric. Mm-hmm. Then we go to this Monday's Raw, and their name was changed to the Viking Raiders. Which, I, which when they when they changed it from ex, the Viking Experience, well, okay. So when they changed it from War Raiders to Viking Experience, I was like, oh, they probably don't want to go up to the main roster and be on like national television with Raiders because that's like NFL trademark, right? Um, right. And then they change it to. Um, what what is it now? It's so stupid now. Vi- uh, the, the, the the Viking Raiders. Viking, Ra- Viking Raiders. Viking Raiders. Just think Minnesota, Oakland. Yeah, okay. Th- yeah, exactly. So you don't like the word war. Okay, I guess so. And then they're like, let's just like capitalize on all these Oakland teams. Because then, now, uh, apparently, You know what you should are- just call them? What? Super Bowl Eleven. Super Bowl Eleven. That was the uh, Vikings versus the Raiders. God, I'm pretty sure that's the last Super Bowl the Raiders won, by the way. Um, God, <laughs> rip the Raiders. But now you've got – what is their new name again? What so, is it? Okay, so they, they got changed this week to the Viking Raiders. Now, WWE has changed that. You know, it said Viking Raiders on the graphics on Raw. The website, www.com slash superstars, says Viking Raiders. But – they may have had their name changed yet again, as Good we again. see right here. This is from the WWE Fan Council website. So if you're signed up to the WWE Fan Council, what it is, is they send out surveys periodically on different things that they do after WrestleMania. This one was after the Superstar Shakeup, saying, what did you like? You know, you have multiple choices, as you see here. What did you like in the Superstar Shakeup? The Usos are Raw, EC3 on Raw, Ricochet on Raw, or as the arrow was pointing... The Viking Warriors on Raw. I don't like it. No, I don't like it. WWE.com still says Viking Raiders, but somebody, somewhere, had to tell somebody that their name was or is going to be the Viking Warriors. Now we don't that's know a if real, this is that's a real stinky name. Now this hasn't way. been confirmed. Like I said, WWE.com still says Viking Raiders, but for them to put that out, 
on the the fan council survey. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> I just want to know, like, was someone watching the – oh, my God. Do you think they made it Warriors because the Warriors are in the playoffs and that would just generate so much ad traffic if they just Google search Warriors and then you get, like, mm-hmm. the Viking Warriors WWE? Probably not. I wonder if that had – I wonder if the NBA playoffs – I mean, apparently had- Vince is hip to the NBA, though, according to Pat McAfee. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because he, like, that- he-, he, he saw LeBron James wearing the, uh, the short suit, right? He, you know what he told the you know he told Michael Cole right? He's like I I'm hip with it or something like that. Like because they were like they were trying to, to to tell Vince oh you know it's cool LeBron James did it. He goes I've seen the photo I'm hip. 